Hi, my name is Sven. I'm from Nixon Luxembourg, and I'm here today on Lucas Club with Ian McLeod, a British author. He's going to tell us a bit more about his work and what he's writing. Okay, um, well, I'm, uh, I'm a British author. I, um, I grew up in the Midlands, and um, I still live pretty much uh, in that area. And I grew up loving SF, and I always wanted to be a writer, I think. And so, but for the last uh, 20 or 30 years, on and off, amid, amid other things as well, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've written um, and published uh, seven novels now. My most recent one, Red Snow, is out pretty much um, as we speak. It's just about to come out. And uh, five short story collections. Um, I've won World Fantasy Award. Uh, the Arthur C. Clarke Award, the John W. w. Campbell Memorial Award, and one or two other things which I've been nominated for or, or have won. So uh, I have um, some presence in the in the genre, uh, but at the same time, I think uh, although I love science fiction, uh, in a way, I've always been interested in writing about things which are uh, part of the mainstream as well. So I, I'm very happy to, to write around the edges of fantasy and horror and mingle it in with uh, particularly, I think, a concern for character and a concern for setting, which uh, isn't always something which science fiction is quite as strong on as, as some other areas. So uh, I think to a degree, I don't really like the term, but I, I'm a literary writer to the extent that I'm concerned about literature in general, and I regard science fiction and the uh, other parts of the fantastic genre as uh, a key part of what um, human writing and, and fiction has always been about from the days of Homer up to the present day. Oh, that's already a lot. <laughs> so you, you're already a big shot into the business since you're writing also so, so many years already. But since you are um, writing so much different topics about, like you said, the science fiction and yeah. fantasy and uh, horror or so, yeah. um, how do you get the ideas for writing your books? Um, I think in part, um, when you start writing, you're writing about stuff that's happened to you. You're fictionalizing it, you're twisting it around, uh, but you, you're basically writing about things that bother you about, about your life. Uh, as you write more, one of the things for me is um, I enjoy writing, I like doing it, like a painter might enjoy painting or a musician enjoys playing a musical instrument. And so as um, maybe your initial store of ideas about your own life starts to run out, you start looking around for other things. So um, uh, that's where research comes in and, and the fun of finding out new things. I mean, one of the nice things about uh, writing fiction, but I think particularly genre fiction in this huge field of fantastic fiction, is you can think, hey, you know, I'd like to write about um, ancient Rome, or I'd like to write about Venus, or I'd like to write about an alternative version of, of Luxembourg, where it has a, a world empire, who knows, you know. So, would be interesting. Yeah, it's, it's part of the fun and the fascination, I think, to be continually looking for new things. And that's one of the reasons why I love the genre so much, really, because the, the, there are no, you know, all the bets are off. It's not like historical fiction, where you have to have some, uh, some sort of tie to reality. Uh, you can tie yourself to reality as much as you like, but you can also let go of it. Yeah, you have a lot of freedom to choose what you want to write up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just had a question in my mind, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, since you've, since you've, you've uh, told us that you wrote already eight, eight novels, or more books, yeah. Roman. Um, do you have one book in particular which you like most of, or are they all young? Uh, you say, well, I love the book the way I wrote it, so it doesn't, doesn't mind. I think, um, for me, like a lot of writers, the, the first book I, I, I managed to sell and have published um, has a special place, uh, which is in, in, in my mind. Um, it's, it's called The Great Wheel, and it was, it's published in America, and um, it's available on ebook now um, through Open Road Media. Um, I think um, there's an initial romance of finding you can actually write in, in, in the long form. And I'm also very fond of my early short stories for the same reason. It's like, hey, I can do it, you know, and, and this is finally working, there's that, there's that moment of clicking. So I think I've got, I'm very fond of my early stuff. Um, there's a novel I wrote called The Light Ages, which was published in quite a few uh, countries in quite a few languages. Um, 
which is a sort of Victorian steampunk uh, novel where the Industrial Revolution happened, but it happened with the aid of magic, which was I'm fond of because it's quite a big book, and really because it was so damn difficult to write. It took me a long time, but I got there, so I, I'm proud of that as well. So, so yeah. it's actually very the, the first first love. Yeah. Yeah. First big love. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, well, my last question is, uh, do you have any tips for uh, newcomers who want to, uh, to start writing books in uh, science fiction, fantasy or horror? I think um, I've, I've talked to quite a lot of um, published writers about becoming a published writer and sort of making some sort of impact on the scene. And the tip is really, I, I think most, a lot of people, and I'm sure a lot of people who, who we're talking to in this broadcast, they're interested in literature anyway. They probably have some facility with language. Yeah. And ideas are really to a penny. You've just got to find something that really interests you. It's sheer dogged, stupid persistence, I would say. So I'd say anybody who wants to be a writer, um, you've got to be, you've just got to keep at it. And um, don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Don't give up. I didn't give up. And um, against uh, all common sense, uh, I was still trying to write. And my reaction to getting a rejection slip something I just I just wanted to write so I think just keep at it so you make your dream come true afterwards yeah yeah so that was actually everything from me okay. thank you very very much for the interview it was very interesting and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the Lux right okay thank you thank you too okay